All right, so I am putting up pixels as trim around my house, and I have a soft and aluminum uh, framing around the house, not uh, not siding, but just uh, I have no wood to attach to. So what I did, I looked online, found people using the J channel. So I went to our aluminum store. You can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's. It's like five dollars a piece, twelve foot piece. Uh, the the aluminum store had it for like four twenty. I think. Actually, I think it's like almost six dollars at Home Depot. But this is a short piece that I got made up here. I made my jig, and some people had asked to take some video on what I did. Basically, I just have a. I'm going to be doing two inch spaces, spacing, so that's what I've done here. I took a jig, Sorry, so. so I have a piece of two by four, and I have two pieces of one by two that I cut to make a channel, and in that channel, I've drilled, sorry, I'm on the wrong side. I have to turn backwards right now. I have several holes drilled. I've got the one lined up with the drill bit. The drill bit is 11 and a half millimeter or 29 60 fourths. It makes pretty much the right hole. I think I've had to go back through with the deburr bit to just clean it up, make sure it's not, not sharp or pointy. So I have the, the jig. I put these pieces of felt. Just the, you can get them at Walmart. Strip of you know hundred of these things, just so I don't scratch the aluminum as I run. Through. Now, size my garage and part of the mess. I can move my drill press to the middle, but I've got so much stuff around here, I can't really move it right now. So what I'm doing is taking a full 12 foot piece, feeding it from the left side, and I'm going to put it through the jig, do about half of it, and then flip it around and send it back through the jig the other way. Now I put spacing here, it's every half inch. I put holes every two inches inside the jig. And when I'm using, when this is in the jig, put this piece back in. So this just fits right in the channel. Alright, so I'll line up one of the holes in there, and I wish I had a better shot of that. Get the light a little better in there. So I can line up the hole. Get that jig right down in there. I'm going to hold this in place because the, the piece of aluminum might shift or pull. I have just a tap which fits right down into the hole. One of the holes on that I've already drilled. So that'll sit there and hold that. It, it stretches the J channel. And then I also, just on the other side, I have this, I've got to check the size of this, but it goes in and slides in and again, wedges it in there so it doesn't move. It keeps this in there pretty good. And I do that for each hole. So I'll drill the hole, shift it, pull out the tap, pull out this, shift it down. Drop the tap in to the next hole, drill the next hole. Alright, so I'm going to show you how I drill the hole. Self explanatory with the jig when I in the last video. Or the last part of the video. So I have my punch in, it goes right into the, right in there. 
straight down with the hole all the way through the piece of wood. Got the piece of fishing line wedged in. And, and, you know, it's, it's bending the aluminum back, but it's not bending the aluminum because it's in the channel. It's just, it's not leaving any marks. So what's leaving a mark is the drill bit every time on the inside because it is, you know, flapping it a little bit, but it's not moving it. That's what I want. I want every hole to be consistent every time. I don't care about the inside. It's either going to be up on, on under the soffit, you're not going to see it, the wires are going to cover it, or I'm going to put another piece of J-channel over this to make it like a complete piece so it won't see the wires either. I haven't decided about that. It depends on when I put it up, how it's going to look. So, get everything in. Take my time with each hole. You know, keep it spaced perfectly. I want it to look nice when it's up. And I want to just do it once. I don't want to have to go back and say, I don't like what that looked like. I went too fast. It's going to take time. And especially with two inch pixels along a roof line. Oh, goodness. I have all the measurements written down and I can't even tell you off the top of my head how much I got to do. I'm going to say there's 17 12 foot pieces that I have to drill. That's for the trim of the front. And then I have a lot of trim for the pool area to attach to the enclosure, the screen enclosure, because we want lights out there when we're out at the pool, having a party, doing whatever, just swimming, just in the hot tub at night. So, i make sure everything's flat, got everything wedged back in. I'll step it up a little bit now and then. I'm just doing this backwards because I don't have enough room in the garage to do the 12 foot piece from one end to the other. I have to do half and half. So, line that up. If you wanted to get it going, you can actually just move it quick. And once you get going with it, I, I, I did the test piece a week ago. Now I'm doing the actual pieces. So it's I'm just getting back into the groove. This is the first piece I'm doing right now. Every now and then those little notches are getting kicked out. Little pieces, they'll clog up in inside down below. Just gotta take something I like the punch if you can. You just you might have to just shift this down, clear the hole out, or you can clean it out from the bottom. But that's it, hole after hole. So when I went to hang the J channel. I was trying to get the screw. I can't use these holes because of where the soffit is, but there's a metal guard that goes around the edge of the soffit that's a bit more sturdy. So to be able to screw into that, I have to get this uh, self-tapper into there, into here, in the middle of this. And instead of bending this back, I drilled a pilot hole that's the size of the head and then drilled the starter hole so I don't have to sit there and and uh, with the power drill and trying to hold it in place. So that drops in there, a little screw in there and go up and that will hold. I've got it every two feet along this 12 foot section and that should be plenty to hold this up and support the lights. I believe I had to use a the big hole, the head on that, it's 1330 seconds, just enough to get it through. And then I believe it was, uh, I can't see that size there, no, I can see it better on the camera, 530 seconds. No, I take that back, 964 was a starter hole. 
So that's going to go in here. It's going to mount on the socket. And then I also made a temp, a jig, I guess you'd call it. Sorry, heading out to the bright sunshine of Florida. On my soffits, I just had this piece of 1x4. I screwed a, a wall bracket into the top of it, and I can adjust the height. And just, I just put a piece of tape on there, and then I just slide the J-channel right up on this end to hold it while I start securing the other end so it keeps it flush up against the ceiling, up, in, up against the soffit. So, and if I need more height, because there are some areas where the ground is lower, I have an extension for that bracket that I can just extend it up higher and tape it. So, I mean, it's just, it's enough to hold it so I don't need a second person and it will get the job done. I have added the trim to the entire house. Well, let me phrase that, to the front of the house. And I did it without the lights. I'm going to test the lights in the garage and then come up and put them on after it. With the J channel, there's it's it's flimsy. If you got any extra weight on it, it's gonna pull on it and bend. I have all the way to the end of the house. So I didn't want a lot of extra weight as I'm putting it up. I did put up screws. So that's the start of the piece there. They're 12 foot pieces. And then this last piece, I think I cut off four lights from the end, but I have a, 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 a screw at the ends and every two feet. So you can see that screw hole. Oh. But, so I, I made the screw hole and I made a smaller hole inside for the screw to go in so I wouldn't have to sit there for so long. So eventually, I'm going to do up the side of the house. Definitely the other side because it's very visible. Can't do that one way or the other, and I think I'm doing it the wrong way anyway. So I'm going to, have to video edit this a little bit. But, so that part's done. I use one, two, three, four, five, six, about six and a half, seven pieces on this, two inch spacing. I gotta count the number of lights. I know I'm pretty close to what my estimate was. And I'll start adding the lights. I'm gonna go from that corner out here and then up and over. So that'll all be one channel. And then another channel from that corner all the way out that way. And I may have to may have to put that's 212 lights going across this section. So I may have to put a power at the other end, but it's okay because I need it when I go up the side anyway.